Lake Powell water levels continue to fall, and at least one Arizona city has taken the next steps in its drought management plan to preserve water. Lake Powell water levels have been falling for more than 10 years, as a 20-year drought grips the region. Over the past 10 years, Lake Powell's water elevation has plummeted more than 80 feet. In March 2022, the lake fell below a critical level of 3,525 feet, creating a dire situation with the reservoir. As Arizona experiences a shortage of water, some cities like Scottsdale are implementing drought management plans. Lake Powell is the primary reservoir for water before it is released to Lake Mead. Lake Mead's water levels are then used by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation to determine if there is a shortage of water. The reservoirs serve Arizona, Nevada, California and Mexico through the Colorado River. As Lake Powell levels fall, the Colorado River is impacted. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation has declared a water shortage in Arizona, which will see a 21% decrease in its annual water allocation from the river. In a statement from Scottsdale Water, the city says it has enough water to continue supplying the community's demands. However, it is beginning to implement its drought management plan. One part of the plan means Scottsdale no longer supplies municipal water to Rio Verde foothills, an unincorporated area in Maricopa County. Scottsdale has warned and advised that it is not responsible for Rio Verde for many years, especially given the requirements of the city's mandated drought plan. The city remains firm in that position, and confident it is on the right side of the law, the statement said. The season means residents in the Rio Verde foothills must purchase water from other sources. Water haulers that previously brought water into Rio Verde foothills from Scottsdale have access to other jurisdictions and still can haul water to the Rio Verde foothills residents, according to a press release published by the city. However, the reductions implemented throughout the state because of the shortage aren't enough to prevent Lake Mead from reaching a dead pool, in which reservoir waters are so low that a dam can no longer release water downstream. Rick Jettis, a professor at the Jeb. E. Brooks School of Public Policy at Cornell University, said the increasing demand for water in the area is a problematic situation, especially because water is a valuable resource. Jettis said there's no way to convey signals to consumers that water is becoming scarce, such as how if supply for gasoline decreases, prices increase to signal that people should conserve the fuel. The increased price can cause less use, which eventually leads to increased supply with water, it's more difficult. In the West for years there's been discussions about how do you deal with these sorts of scarcity issues. The problem is the demand for water for various uses outstrips the supply. The drought will require further water reduction to prevent the Colorado River from reaching a catastrophically low level, according to Scottsdale. The current measures in place won't be enough to prevent a negative outcome should levels continue to decrease. That's why decreasing the river's demand today is the only way we will protect the river's future, benefiting everyone, the statement said. Scottsdale continues to prepare amidst the uncertainty by ramping up our robust conservation programs, being engaged in Colorado River discussions, and advocating on behalf of our residents to ensure their desert community remains resilient for the long term.